if you think about this word storytelling, someone's telling a story. Um, and you assume everyone's listening, like here, gather around children, <laughs> listen to me. Um, if leaders take that stance, uh, they're not going to succeed because people aren't obedient children. They're not going to listen to the teacher. They're busy with their work. They're busy with their life. And so what I've seen is that a leader doesn't start with storytelling. They start with story listening. That leader has to have a command of the past of the organization because leaders bridge the past and the future and the present. They refer to the past to enable people to feel the present and to see the future as not some kind of radical transformation because we don't like change. But a great story from a leader can bring people along that path. This is how it was and this is how it is. A little different. There were scary moments, but we got here. And this is the future. We're gonna go forward. We did it before, we can do it again. When I think about the problem of working with organizations, audiences, teams, is I see the little arrows on their heads and they're all going in different directions because they have their own stuff to take care of. A leader is trying to move everyone's arrow in generally the same direction. And the way to do that is they talk about what North Pole is. North Star is? What is a story that gets everyone's arrow to point in the same direction? You know, when you hear the word design, you'll hear the word empathy used, like within a few words of its radius. Um, it's about how it makes you feel, not how it makes me, the designer, feel. How do you feel matters more. I will only know how you feel if I've listened to you. Design tends to mean that you're not taking the linear path. We all love the linear path, it makes sense. It's the lowest path of risk. Um, but when designers are freed to accept risk, do some things, experiment um, out of their comfort zone, they expand their imagination and they find a way back to the problem. It wasn't until I began to lead that did I understand how leading is a kind of design problem. I look at leading as a kind of making as a creative problem. Uh, how to be a creative leader, I think, is the most interesting problem today for any person who's in the creative fields. What's the future of storytelling? I think it has a lot more to do with listening than telling. Um, I think leaders discover so often how they can get stuck in their own story and tell a great story, but there's no one listening. They may be in the room, but no one can hear them. The only way they're gonna hear them is for the leader listen to them first. Story listening has to come before leaders' storytelling.